On day 14 of cooking only with fire and flames, we'll show you how to make a juicy cast iron ribeye steak. To stay tuned for all our episodes, like, subscribe, and let's dive into it. After stacking large logs in a square inside the oven, I'll add some kindling in the center of the log cabin and light it up, give the fire inside the oven enough time to get burning nicely, which should take around 40 minutes. Once the fire is roaring, spread the hot coals evenly inside the oven to ensure uniform heat distribution. Finally, drizzle some olive oil on the cast iron skillet and place it in the center of the oven to heat up. All right, let's get our steak ready for the cast iron. I'll drizzle a little oil, then season with salt and pepper. We'll coat the steak with this classic marinade, making sure the seasoning gets into every bite. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. Once the cast iron skillet is piping hot and smoking, carefully remove it from the oven. When placing your steak in the skillet, remember to drop it away from yourself for safety. Slide that skillet back in and let it sizzle away for a couple of minutes. After that, pull it out, flip the steak, sprinkle on some rosemary and a hefty portion of unsalted butter, and return it to the oven for an additional two minutes of cooking perfection. All right, so once the foam from the butter has subsided, take out the skillet and let the meat rest for five to seven minutes before slicing it up. To maximize the flavors, let's take advantage of the steak juices by just putting in the skillet some sliced bell peppers, baked potatoes, and some hot green chili peppers with these wonderful herbs. Season everything with just salt and slide the cast iron skillet back in for a couple of minutes. Now that the steak is rested, let's go ahead and slice the steak against the grain. I'm gonna slice the whole thing into one inch thick pieces and then just put it on the plate with the veggies. Look at that perfect, beautiful medium rare ribeye. When you get a good crispy crust, you know you did the steak correctly. And the veggies, the combination of the steak juices and hot chili peppers makes an incredible veggie medley. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed eating this meal. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe now so you don't miss tomorrow's episode at the same time.